Hello everyone. Now I am going to continue over here with the second method of finding the Laplace transform of this particular function. We had already seen in our previous video the method by going from the rightmost function and finding the Laplace of this particular function. So here we will be seeing another method of simplifying it and going ahead. So let us see. Consider the function t to the power e to the power uh, sorry t times e to the power minus 2t times sin h 4t. Okay. Now this function can be simplified as using the definition of sin h 4t. So let us see the definition it is nothing but e to the power 4t minus e raised to minus 4t divided by 2 and then you can multiply e to the power minus 2t inside and obtain t times e to the power 2t minus e to the power minus 6t divided by 2. Having done that, here you are again in the pre position that you can apply the previous method. Considering this bracket as the rightmost function, you can find the Laplace of this bracket first and then multiply t. So let us do that. We first consider this bracket and then take its Laplace. This thing is allowed to be done because operator L is a linear operator. Then I use the formula that I am already aware now from our formula list. I hope that you have prepared it. So Laplace of e to the power a t will help you over here as well as Laplace of e to the power minus a t will help you. So Laplace of e to the power 2 t is nothing but 1 upon s plus or oh sorry 1 upon s minus 2 as well as Laplace of e to the power minus 60 will be 1 upon s plus 6. Thus, what do we get over here is this as the output. We are done with half of the answer. Now, what we can do ahead is, here we have to multiply t. Before multiplying t, I would like to make a note that this is the most important step over here. Because what happens is that when you multiply t, you tend to even multiply it on right hand side as well as on left hand side when the multiplication is being taken care. So when you are multiplying t on left hand side do not multiply t on right hand side over here. Okay, You have to take care on right hand side the multiplication effect that is this thing minus of 1 to the power n in the nth derivative of the Laplace. So you have to take care. So let us see how to do. So Laplace of t times, see I am multiplying over here and on the right hand side I am taking care of the derivative. So when I am taking care, so I have to take care properly, it will be minus of 1 to the power n. Now n over here is 1 because power of t is 1. So it will be minus of 1 to the power 1, it is minus 1, so that is the minus over here. And then the derivative of phi of s. So it is the derivative of this term. So when I take the derivative of this term, the half as a scalar comes out. And then I can take this derivative, which is very easy from our calculus. And then I take the derivative. Be careful while th there are many minus signs. And so use appropriate brackets over here. Simplify it using normal derivative uh, calculations okay and then you get your final answer now if you observe this final answer is same as the answer that we had got from our previous method that was using the rightmost function and then finding its laplace so this is the second method i hope you have understood here the main important point of doing this it is uh, this method can be done whenever uh, the function is allowing you to simplify itself. Okay, so let us see one more method. The method can here you can do one more thing. I'll show you in my next problem. Let us see.
consider this particular function laplace of t to the power 7 cosine h of t now here if you see this particular problem then you would tend to use multiplication effect and go for finding the seventh derivative of uh, laplace of cosine h t okay so then you will ponder upon how to find the seventh derivative it sometimes the process can be cumbersome and tedious so what we can do let us see how can we manage such kind of problems first consider the function t to the power 7 cosine h t and then we can use definition of cosine h t it is nothing but e to the power t plus e to the power minus t divided by 2 okay having done that multiply t to the power 7 inside you obtain this term okay then operate laplace operator and use the linearity property okay now observe the format in which it is written laplace of it is t to the power n times a function again here it is t to the power n times some function so what it is asking you as per the format it is asking you to use multiplication effect but if you use multiplication effect again you will have to find the seventh derivative of the laplace of a particular function over here in order to avoid finding higher order derivatives or if you do not know how to find higher order derivatives or the formulas are not available with you and then in such case what can you do you can recall one property that these functions are real valued t to the power 7 and e to the power t they are real valued and they commute okay their commutativity is satisfied over here so you can write this as instead of writing this you can write it as laplace of e to the power t times t to the power 7 and this can be written as e to the power minus t times t to the power 7 now what is it this format is similar to where we had seen first shifting theorem okay so you can now use first shifting theorem and find the laplace of e to the power t times t to the power 7 so laplace of t to the power 7 is gamma 8 upon s to the power 8 and then you can apply first shifting theorem over here and solve so let us see it would be gamma 8 upon s minus 1 to the power 8 because i am using first shifting theorem and then it here it would be gamma 8 divided by s plus 1 to the power 8 and the half is as it is carried down okay so and you simplify it further okay so that's your answer so finally you if you see this process in the though the problem appears like you are asked to go by the multiplication effect of laplace transform but you can avoid that and take another route to find by a first shifting theorem okay so sometimes in examinations tricky questions are posed so some of them are here like you can find laplace of t to the power 77 hyperbolic cosine t or laplace of t to the power 99 hyperbolic sine t so in such cases 99th derivative or 77th derivative is what you may wonder but it is not required you can use first shifting theorem and solve the problem easily so now you can crack such higher powers using first shifting theorem for laplace transforms so that's it for today thank you